Hey guys, Herf here. Uh, another edition of Pi World uh, Minecraft Survival. We are um, going to head into the Nether here shortly, but I wanted to have you guys here for uh, the Blast Furnace creation. So um, this is the the guy that um, that cooks things. So we we got a stack of 64 that I had gotten from uh, mining. I, I didn't, I pointed to the coal last episode, but I had to go down and do some mining uh, to gather the coal, and in that process we, we gathered um, about a stack and a half of iron ore, so um, I wanted to cook that in here and show you how much quicker it is than uh, uh, a regular thing. So we've got this guy. He cooks, uh, he cooks this stuff at an accelerated rate. And we got this guy who cooks, um, let's see, we need about five for that. No, that's too many, doesn't matter. And he cooks uh, meat at an accelerated rate. You can see how quick that goes compared to the normal thing. So anyway, that was all I wanted to show you there. I'm going to dump some inventory and then I will bring you back uh, before we head into the nether. Okay, we are back here in the nether. Um, this is what I was alluding to in the previous. This is why the creeper blew up, so when I collect some netherrack, we'll fix that. Um, but I kind of want to run around here, collect some stuff. Here's some, some easy ones. This should give us, uh, start to give us some good experience. So maybe we can head down, head down here. I do not want to hit the pigmen but I will go after the other guys the uh, the piglins or um, any endermen we see and I, I need to collect uh, ender pearls as well so open season on endermen ghasts anything skeletons whatever we see so here's some uh, gold ore. I haven't mined any of this yet, but we'll see. This doesn't seem to give very good experience at all. So, but we got 22 nuggets, so we actually can uh, we can try trading with uh, I guess the dudes before we pick a fight. <laughs> and if they give us crappy stuff, we kill them give us good stuff, they live. Do have to be careful for lava. Lava will surprise me every once in a while. Did I see some... Oh, okay, it's down here. Maybe we can uh, go down this way. So you can see how much you know XP you get a fair amount just from collecting these blocks. So. Won't take too long. This stuff is useful too. It's uh, very purdy. Make all kinds of uh, quartz blocks out of it. All kinds of cool building stuff. I think they you can do stairs. Slabs, all kinds of neat stuff you can do with the quartz. Um, oh, I think this is where I fell <laughs> a couple episodes ago. So, there's some more gold. Whoa, no thank you. Oh, that's scary. Did you see that? I can hear a ghast in the distance. That is down... broke already. Well, I guess it was mostly dead anyway. Alright. So we're just going to collect as much of this as I can. Let's see if we can... It was over here, right? Can I get down this way? Not really, but 
but we can get back up this way, so... Okay, there's blocks underneath this at least. Yeah, look at this, we're already at 24 and a half. We've only collected not even a stack full yet, so we've already gone up... Uh, what were we at? We were almost 22 when we started, now we're almost 25, so... So this is good. People are interrupting. Okay, so we collected some of this. Let's uh let's keep going. I do want to get the gold, I don't get much XP from it, but you know what, let's use this stuff. Alright, that way we don't get uh we don't get burn baby burned disco inferno. Let's see. stuff as much as I do. Oh, these dudes. I don't remember what these guys' names are. But apparently you can ride on them in the lava. You have to have like a uh, something on a stick. You gotta use a fishing rod or something. I, I don't quite remember. I've never tried it. Maybe we can uh, dump all of our stuff in a chest and try that at some point. Exhausted this spot. Here's a guy we can we can uh You know what, let's oh I don't have a uh, here let me make a thing. I think I have one in the tunnel up there, but let's just make this for now. We'll make some gold bars and then see what he'll trade us. And we will kill him if it is unacceptable. Alright, so we got four gold bars. Where did he go? Seriously? Where'd you go, man? Where did you go, sir? Did you fall? Where did you go, man? Oh, well, I don't see him. I heard a snort, though. There he is. He's not moving fast, but at the same time, I can't keep up with him. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. Yeah, hey, let's, uh... See anything you like, sir? What you just gonna give me? Let's see. Oh, seriously? That... You... Jerk. Sheep what? Really? It gives me gravel. This is what I think of your gravel. Man. Gravel? That was gold. Gold. I mean, it was free, but still. It's gold. I 
mean, that guy had it coming, right? I, I, no one, no one's gonna disagree with that. Gravel. And that's an insult. Okay, while we continue to wander around and attempt to collect things, uh, I will. I wanted to uh, to throw out another story. Um, it's sort of related to the the family. My last story with the uh, the little dog. So, um, the the girl I was dating. Um, we had gone out for s something like to the mall, or you know, I don't remember what we were doing. I just remember. Um, we had gone out for a little bit, uh, middle of the day, summertime. Um, her siblings were home, but her, um, you know, her parents. I think both of their parents worked, so uh, neither parent was home. But you know, the siblings were home, so we um, we went out. We were coming. We we got back to uh, to her house, and. Uh, now she has a, a, a little brother. I, don't, I honestly don't even remember the kid's name. I'm gonna call him. Uh, I'm gonna call him Mikey. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not his name. <laughs> if it is, I'm sorry, Mikey, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, he. Um, so anyway, we get we get out of the car. Now I've explained this, but for those that that may not have heard previous videos, you should check them out. In, in if you haven't seen them, because they're, they're, they're the best videos ever on YouTube. So, uh, but. The, um, the family here, uh, let's see. So the way the house is, right, you pull up, um, this, this long driveway. The driveway is kind of, uh, parallel to the house. So as you pull up the driveway, you essentially go in front of the house. Uh, and it is a ranch house, so it's a single floor. Um, and as you're looking at the front of the house, they have a large deck off to uh, the side of the house. So there's a small set of, you know, three or four stairs that you walk up onto the deck, and then you would go into this door that's uh, on the right side of the house, you know, on the on the edge, not the edge, but, you know, the middle of the side of the house, such that when you're standing at, um, standing at the door and you look up, you know, the peak of the roof is right there. So um, the roof comes down towards the front of the house and, and down, you know, in the back of the house. So anyway, we are, um, we've gotten back from the mall. I just, I don't, I'm saying the mall, I, I don't really recall where we went. It doesn't matter. It's just that her hands were kind of full with something. You know, she either had sports equipment or she had, you know, some bags of some things she picked up or whatever. So we, 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 we pull up, we get out of the car, we walk up to, um, you know, the, the, the door, you walk up on the deck and, and. You know, she, she, there's a, a storm door, like a screen door. She opens the screen door and grabs the handle to, the, you know, the, the wooden door that would go into the kitchen, and uh, it's locked. Now, that was odd, right, because the siblings are home and all of this, so... But, you know, it, it, it didn't occur to me. It, she was telling me this after the fact, I believe, so... Um, I'm just oblivious. I don't realize what, what's happening, right? So... Now she's fumbling, uh, getting some keys out of a out of a pocket or a purse or something, and um, so she's wedged between the storm door. You know, the storm door is about 45 degrees, and she's uh, fumbling for keys with her hands full of other stuff, trying to get at, you know, trying to unlock this, the, you know, the the main kitchen door to the house. And uh, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm standing a, a foot or two, you know, back. I was probably carrying some stuff myself, so we're just waiting for the door to get open. She, um, right at that point, um, all of a sudden this water balloon, uh, comes out of nowhere. Probably, it's a good size one. It was like a softball size water balloon. Boom! It hits the, it hits the deck on the other side of the, uh, of the screen door. So it doesn't, doesn't hit her, but it hits, uh, you know, on the ground. So I think her, her feet get splashed maybe under the door. And, um, mm -hmm. and the, you know, there was water on the door and it would, would I just, I'm just, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, what, what the heck was that? You know, I don't even know what it was. I don't even understand what's happening. 
at the moment. She immediately starts saying, Mikey, no, she, keep in mind, she hasn't looked up, she hasn't looked around, she hasn't done anything um, as far as a reaction other than to immediately yell at Mikey without seeing that it was Mikey, without knowing anything. So anyway, she's like, Mikey, you know, you know, expletive, expletive. Um, and now she's, now she is, uh, what was that? Potion of fire resistance. Well, that was okay. Maybe you get another one. Um, so it, now she's, she's a little bit more, because she knows what's coming, right? More water balloons are coming. So now she's kind of frantically panicking, going to, ooh, we got some crying obsidian. All right, this guy's much better. So she's frantically, you know, getting the keys and trying to fumble them in the door. And um, of course, you know, in retrospect, the little brother has locked the door on purpose. Right, to sort of give himself extra time. So anyway, she looks up. Uh, she she finally she finally gets the door open, okay. And this is after after another water balloon has rained down, and and this time the water balloon hit kind of the top of the, s the screen door. Now I still don't even know where these things are coming from, right? I'm I'm I have started to look around, you know, kind of back over in the yard to see where he's lobbing these things from. It turns out. He's actually above on the roof, and he's raining these things down. Now, she quickly, I mentioned, I think, in the last video that she, she w had a scholarship coming uh, to, um, for sports, right, to a, to a major local university. So she's, she's a pretty good athlete. So game on, right? She's competitive. So game on now with the little brother. So he um, is, is now frantically throwing water balloons. And she gets hit a couple of times. She also manages to catch a couple, and she's throwing them back. But it, it so it turns out the kid is actually, if you're looking at the side of the house, you know that you can see the peak of the roof straight up. And again, I'm talking with my hands, like you guys can see me. I, that's why I stopped moving. So she um, realizes that he's actually hiding on the roof. He's on the back side of the roof, so you couldn't see him when we came in the front. Uh, and he was hiding there. He basically laid this, laid this like pretty clever trap, right, for his sister. Um, I think I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, he's got a crossbow. That's not good. So she sees him now um, up there, and she's now managed to catch a couple of these of these, you know, water balloons, and uh, she's fired a couple back at him. I don't remember if she hit him or not. The whole time, you know, she's she's yelling profanity at him, you know, calling him this and that. And uh, now on the back side of the deck, they have this pretty large, um, you know, the back of the house is much lower ground-wise than the front was. So, um, you know, to the point where they, I think there was a door that you could just walk into to get in the basement. So it was several feet lower than the front. So it turns out that he has propped up a... Um, he has propped up a big uh, extension ladder. Now, this kid is only like, you know, he's like 12 maybe at the time, 11 or 12. And maybe it was something the dad had left there, I don't know. But he's got this big extension ladder, and that's how he got up on the back of the roof. I still don't know to this day how he had all of these filled water balloons sitting on the roof. Because, you know, the roof is, it's, it's a slope, right? You put a balloon down, it's going to roll right off. So I still don't know how the kid actually had these balloons stored up there. He had a dozen or so. Um, anyway, so she realizes that you know she can't get to him. You know, after all this yelling and you know, you're a jerk. So she walks down the stairs, out into the backyard, and without hesitation, kicks the ladder. Just kicks it, gives it like a big boom. You know, boot, knocks it over. The ladder goes crashing down to the ground. And then she comes back up the stairs and she says, "All right, let's go. Let's go get something to eat." So, and I said, are you sure? You can't leave him up there. And she's like, nope, let's go. So, we get in the car and we drive away, stranding this kid on the roof. So, I guess it was it was kind of a, a bit of payback. So, uh, I'm pretty sure his older brother was home. So, I'm pretty sure the older brother, you know, let him up in short order. But, let him down, I should say, in short order. But still, the uh, the sibling rivalry there was just tremendous. It was tremendous. What a little, you know, what a little 
you know what I mean, piece of poop. So, yeah, he was a he was a handful. So that you know, I'm slowly learning the uh, the dynamics of this family and the competitive nature of the children. And it was it was you know, the little kid was pretty pretty devious. I you know, in retrospect, you know, you sit back and you think, man, I mean, he he planned this thing out. He knows she's out. He he gets all these balloons, and they're not water water balloons. These are like regular balloons, you know, that he's filling. So these are these are good size ones. And he, he, you know, thinks ahead, he locks the door, he's basically laying this big trap. So that was, that was you know, as annoying as, as it was, it was also pretty clever at the same time. So kudos to uh, kudos to the young man. Uh, anyway, all right, it looks like we hit level 30 here. I'm not even paying attention, I'm just talking. So I had hoped to get a couple of things to enchant with, but perhaps now... This will allow us to uh, to go uh, either make a fortune sword or maybe a, not a sword, I'm sorry, a fortune pickaxe or maybe a, um, a looting sword so that we can get... Oh, I didn't make that one. Oh, okay. A uh, looting sword, you know, so we can, we can get uh, maybe some more uh, ender pearls. I, I haven't seen a single enderman since coming down here. There were a bunch before. Oh, I just heard one. I heard one. There he is. There he is. All right, let's make a little cave to hide in. I looked at you. Oh, is there, are there two of you up there? I don't remember if one gets mad if you hit the other one. Ooh, maybe he'll drop this block and I get I get a block. He did. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I got it. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Did I get him? No. Come on, man. Oh, oh, I got him that time. Oh, he got me once. Give me your pearls. Give it. Come on, man. Did I get one? I got one! Not sure which one gave that to me. You know what? Let's grab some more gold nuggets while we're here. Why not? Uh... Okay, so I will, uh, let's... I'll keep you guys with me. I need to find... Actually, what I'll do is find my way out of here. Uh, I'm a bit disoriented. I'm pretty sure this is the right area, but... But, uh, okay, I'll find my way back, and I'll bring you back, and we'll see what we can enchant. Okay, so we're back, uh, we're back here, standing in front of, uh... Or right next to, I should say. You know what, I'll, I'll take this. So we're standing right here. Um, I grabbed the diamond pickaxe that we already have. Um, we can enchant up to level 30, because we are level 30. Uh, and that's showing me efficiency 3, which is okay. But I don't know if there's another enchantment. You can't tell. So I was hoping we get some kind of a slam dunk. This is fire aspect. I don't really have any interest in that. Is this different? No, it's efficiency 3. That bow's already enchanted, so I can't tell. That's why I grabbed this helmet, just in case. Protection 3. That's not great. How about, let's take our boots off and see what it might say about boots. Fire protection? That might be okay. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to enchant this thing and hope that there's fortune two or something with it. Fingers crossed. Unbreaking. Oh, okay. Well, that's it's a good mining pickaxe, but uh, not much else. Put our boots back on. My oh, man, our armor is almost dead. So. Yeah, you know what I think we'll do? Um, well, I don't need to keep you here for this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make 
a small chest. Um, this is kind of one of the things I like to do in here. On this side, I usually make an anvil. And on this side, I put a little chest. And the chest will contain uh, things like this. I'm going to put all of this armor in here. So now we can look at things that are almost dead that don't have much use that I can just reach over here and stick in to sort of preview uh, you know what the next oh, fire aspect 2 that's lame lame Let's see what the next enchantment might be if we get a sneak preview of it nope okay so I could have tried a bow or fishing rod or things like that but uh, we didn't so anyway alright so we, we started the process anyway so it's probably back into the nether um, we need to gather a few more, uh, the blaze rods, and also, uh, I need to, to kind of dig around for some magma cream, and it seems to be a good place to, to look for endermen, too. So, um, I think, uh, we'll just continue more of the same in the next episode. Maybe I'll do a little bit of it off camera. Guys, as always, for tuning in, um, if you like what, what we're doing, uh, throw us a like, and, uh, subscribe if you care to, it really would help us out. And look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks, guys.